This video will show you in 12 simple steps how to install an ActPro eLock. Firstly, ensure the door has been wedged open to avoid locking yourself in. Then remove the existing handles from the door. Now the door is ready for you to fit the eLock. Apply the template supplied with the lock to the spindle. Ensure the template is at an angle of 90 degrees to the door and secure it in position with some tape. Using the template as a guide, mark the drill holes with a bradle. Drill a pilot hole through the door. When drilling the top hole, use a 16mm drill bit and use an 8mm drill bit for the bottom hole. As a rule of thumb, it's best to drill halfway through on one side and then drill through from the other side. Take the front unit, the side with the card reader, and feed the wire through the door. Mount the rear unit onto the spindle, feeding the wire carefully through the hole at the top of the unit. Fix the ActPro eLock in place using the screws provided, ensuring the comms wire is not trapped behind the unit. Included with each lock are two sets of screws to be used depending on the thickness of the door. The ActPro eLock can be fitted to any door with a thickness between 36 and 60 millimeters. Fit the comms wire to the rear unit, ensuring the correct orientation. Insert the supplied lithium battery to the rear locking unit, referencing the label on the unit. Default the ActPro eLock by holding down the tamper spring and the recess button for three seconds. Use the hex key provided to hold down the recess button. Place the rear cover over the rear lock unit. Use the screws provided to hold the rear cover in place, starting with the underside of the cover. The final screw goes into the back of the rear cover, and once there, you can place the ACT cover over the back screw. Fit the handles onto the spindle and use the hex key provided to securely fasten the handles. The ActPro eLock is now installed. You can remove the plastic protection cover from the front unit. To use the ActPro eLock, make a deliberate presentation of a valid card or fob to the area marked with a symbol of a card. The LED will flash green and the lock will beep to show the door can now be opened.